Hi there, Holy Stretch fam. Welcome to a Holy Stretch video. My name is Frances Eve, and this is my friend Madison. Today, we are here to support you in learning how to practice assisted stretching with those you love or your clients in helping them ground their body down. Today, we're going to be focusing on the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves in order to ground the body down. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already, and I'll see you on the inside. Hello and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and start with our client on the table or the floor and honoring them sending them gentle loving intentions by gently placing our hands on their belly and taking some nice breaths encouraging them to take breaths with you setting your intention for the healing and next we'll go ahead and cradle their sacrum as we bring the other hand to right around their belly button area so a little bit lower than that it's right above the pubic bone and right below the belly button in that space here we are touching right above the sacrum if it's challenging for you to get your hand underneath their low back to reach their sacrum then you can always just bring both hands above taking some deep breaths in here creating a nice safe space for them. We'll go ahead and start by feeling into the quad. And how we're gonna do that is we bring one hand down on top of their quad and then the other hand on top. And what you can do is press your body weight down into your hands. Notice how I'm not bending at the elbows, they're nice and straight. My shoulders are down, they're not hunched. So keeping a nice posture, keeping the arms straight, and on your inhale, lifting the hands up, and your exhale, pushing your body weight down into their quad. Of course, ask them if it's too much. If it's too much, modify, give them a little less pressure. And then we'll move over to the other side. Resting one hand underneath the sacrum and one hand above the pubic bone and below the belly button. Just sending some loving energy, loving intentions, grounding them into the space. Take deep breaths with you. Sliding the hand out, we'll move on to the quad. So one hand on the quad, the other hand right over your hand. And pressing body weight down. It might be helpful to get up on your knees, you have more leverage. And you may feel that some tension, some dense fascia in the quad begins to soften. You may notice some heat coming from your hands. That heat is your healing energy. It's your electromagnetic field and it helps to release any stuckness, tension. Coming to the center now, we'll go ahead and alternate arms. So keeping your arms mostly straight moving your body weight into each arm, kind of like a cat kneading, or I like to say making muffins. But just like a cat, you're just leading one arm and then the other. Walking your hands down from their hip flexors, down their thighs, and towards their knees. Once you get to the knees, we'll go ahead and slide the arms down. And we'll begin to place the feet on either side of the mat.
We want nice wide legs. This is actually accessing the liver and gallbladder meridians. And what we'll have them do is press their knees open as you close them. So placing one of your knees on the outside of their knee. This is also activating the quads as they push their knees out. And as you pull them in, this releases their psoas, hip flexor. Have them push out on the exhale and come back in on the inhale. And we do about six of these. As they're resisting, you want them to give you a little bit less resistance such that you can pull their knees back together. Next, we're going to go the opposite way. So we're going to get into the liver meridian this time. You're going to slide your hip to the inside of their knee. And as they squeeze in, you're going to push their knees apart by sitting down on one knee and pushing the other out. Now be very mindful about going too hard on your client. You definitely want to ask them how the pressure is and gauge for yourself, are they in control or are they shaking, quivering? Is it jerky movements? If it's any of those things, slow down. You can always go slower on these. In fact, if your client is super shaky, you could literally ask them to hold an angle and then resume. And this actually helps them to connect to their fascia. After we do six, we'll go ahead and knead the inner thighs. Just like we did with the cat kneading, just bringing the hands to the adductors. And then sliding the legs down. We'll take the right leg and bring it towards you and see if you can find a place for your hand around their knee so that they don't overextend We'll make some gentle hip circles, so feeling around to see where they're tight. In fact, the slower the better. Then when you go slow, you notice where the nervous system kind of glitches or shakes or stops. And in those spaces, you want to continue moving slower. So on her, what I noticed was there was a lot of tension on the inner thigh like her leg wouldn't actually open all the way. So I want to start by strengthening the outer hip. How we do that is we'll go ahead and make a figure four with their legs and then have them resist to push open towards you and then slowly release as you lean your body weight forward. You really shouldn't be using a lot of muscle here. This is really mostly your body weight leaning your body weight forward. And again, if they are shaking like crazy as they're pushing out towards you, go slower. And you may need to make smaller movements as well. Your client may not actually be able to reach their knee to their chest. So just go according to their flexibility level. And then when you've done four to six, we'll go ahead and rest here in the figure four position. And 
and finding those hip circles once again. Moving on to the opposite direction. So have them squeeze the knee in towards their opposite shoulder and then you'll pull the knee back down away from that shoulder. So now we're working on the kidney bladder. The outer was the bladder. The inner now is the kidney meridian. Have them squeeze the knee up to shoulder as you pull that knee down towards the diagonal. This is a really great one for psoas, for hip flexors, opening the hips in general. And this is great for the nervous system around the hip area. So if someone feels not grounded, a great thing to do is give them these resistance stretches for hips. This helps them to connect to their fascia, connect to their body, connect to their root system, which is really the sciatic area of the body, which goes down the hamstrings. And we can knead their inner thigh as we come down here, just like we did before with the quad. And when we get to the knee, we'll go ahead and bring the leg all the way down and then raising it all the way up. So actually we're now working on the hamstring. As you raise the leg up, notice how straight or how bent it is. We never ever want to pull the leg straight if our client can't really get there. We always just want to go as far as they can get and then encourage them to go just a few inches more to see where they're at. To open up the calf, we'll have them point their toes or dorsiflex towards you and then release the point. Point their toes and release. Switching legs now, we'll start with those hip rolls, those hip rotations, feeling the body, feeling around where they get stuck, where they feel tight, where they feel very flexible. Really, really notice. So we're strengthening now the bladder meridian by having them press their knee into you and lean your body weight forward to open up that hip. and leaning that body weight over, not muscling it. Once you've done four to six on the outer thigh, we're going to move to the inner. So give them a nice circular rotation and then have them squeeze the knee towards their opposite shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
moving into kidney, squeezing in and pulling back towards the diagonal. Have them inhale, squeezing in and exhale, coming down. And work with your client here on their angle and their range of motion. They may not have the exact angle, but you do want to concentrate on the diagonal from the opposite shoulder to the knee so that you can try to find that line, that meridian. We're working down. Very good. And then back to the kneading. Massaging, relaxing the inner thigh in here. Very nice, bringing the leg back down and up for a hamstring stretch. So lifting it up, seeing if you can find where your client is bent or straight and how far they can go. Never pushing, only encouraging. So as they point their toe, flexing it back down for them, this opens up the calf muscle, which in turn affects of course, the hamstrings and the hips too. Making those hip circles and sliding the leg back down. To complete our bodywork practice, we want to bring the palms of our hands to the bottoms of their feet and just gentle touch. There's so many nerve endings at the bottom of the feet and all the organs are connected to the bottom of the feet. So it's always nice to give your client a little foothold once in a while. And swooping energy from their hips down to their feet. You can glide the hands from the hips down to the legs, to the feet a couple of times. And then we can bring their feet to our chest, leaning our body weight forward. This is a wonderful one for opening up the sacrum, it's basically facilitating happy baby pose. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure to show you some techniques on how to ground your client. And please subscribe. There's so many more videos to support you in your assisted stretch journey. Feel free.